If you enjoyed this video and want to support the channel, you can for a dollar a month over on Patreon. Thank you. Well, let's talk about the small thing that came out very recently, and is the teaser for Sonic Prime. Hmm. It may be small, but there's a lot going on with this. This was a very. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it kind of looks like a sauce film back animation. <laughs> I was wondering if you were going to head into that already. I was wondering. It's if the first thing you see. It's like it's not. What's the word? Fidelity. Mm, it's not fidelity. that. It's not that high detailed look like we had with Unleashed or 06. You mm. know, like Blur Studio quality. Yeah, I mean, I will say this. Um, the thing is, obviously, having seen it, it's like my only real issue is the backdrop that makes it more Source Filmmaker thing. And again, it's like you compare this, for instance, like with TV Boom, like when, when they first showed that off, like first, what was it, like three minutes of that? Again, it was astonishing. It just really looked beautifully done. The irony, of course, is that the rest of the episode and the rest of the series was never up to that quality honestly i always feel like that was like the in-house pitch they made for the sh series and then they got the green light and it's like oh now we're gonna make the show now but we can't keep it at that high quality and this and again if you compare the two it's like there's a big difference in just the lighting terms like the environments just don't have it's like they just pour it over like the geometry from generations but they haven't got the lighting sorted out for it but the animation itself i will say is a lot is very even in the small clip we got it's very snappy, like something does a lot of oh, stuff. Oh yeah, it's you know? very yeah. What's your fluid? I'm forgetting it's words. To, I'm forgetting words today. Yeah. Fluid. I will say it's not as fluid as say Boom was. I will say like again, if you go back to like the first few episodes, if you oh, tell Boom, first, Boom was yeah. bouncy. Boom was well, very the thing, like, like, If you go back stretch. to the first like nine or so episodes of the first series, it's like it's still pretty. You know, the characters are consistent. They're not as flowy as it. And when like, halfway through then into series two, they're very flowy. They're very bouncy and all that stuff. This is like I said, what we got with Prime is more snappy, going from pose to pose very quickly. But it's got that nice, you know, squash and scratch feel to it, which is something people have been wanting to see with, particularly with modern Sonic. Which is the other thing. It's like yeah, they're just stuck with regular Sonic for this show. Yeah, which is odd considering what um, what the actual uh, God, I cannot remember words today. What is wrong with me? Concept art we saw uh, um, last year. Mm. Yeah, I mean like, it was. It, it showed a slightly different Sonic. Like, it was mostly the same Sonic, but different shoes and gloves. Yeah, the glove. Yeah, I mean presumably that's for the rest of the series. This is for all we know. This is either a teaser for the series or just like a clip from the first half of the very first episode. Who knows? Yeah, and game acting animation as well. It's like. One thing people have pointed out is his gloves are different. Mm. There are so slightly. It's not like big Mickey Mouse, like here's the long and here's like a bulbous fingertip. Like yeah, it's like a bit more like actual gloves. There's even a seam on the on the outside of them. Like we haven't <laughs> seen that since like Riders. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, again, it's like presumably they built their own model for the show. I mean, it is modern. It is. A modern, again, modern Sonic Adventure Sonic, we go, we're not going to go down that route. But basically, it's Sonic who he's been for the last couple of years. It's basically that in animated form. And I know people have often said this, like, oh, why they just redesign the characters. Like, well, they tried to boom and you all had a bitch fit over it. Do you think they're ever going to do that again? But yeah. at least it shows, like, you can make it work. And the argument has been, particularly with the games, is like, I don't think there's anything wrong with the design of the characters. It's just the animation rigs, the way they're set up to animate is the problem has been the issue for it. particularly like, i remember um someone from Sumo digital years ago i can't remember his name but when they were doing all stars racing they say the problem with them is that they're not the easiest characters to animate because again it's like the way they're built the models themselves it's like you can't cheat a lot of stuff you can't do a lot of like squatch or stretch or something or it will look inconsistent so again it's been an issue for other people working with these characters for over the years but what we've seen with this from the little tiny bit it's like it is possible it can be done and it looks all right, for the most part, like you say. Yeah, there's a um, animator on Twitter I've been recently following, and he did a, did a lot of uh, he did a whole series of videos of a snowball fight. Okay. And there was plenty of squats and stretch, like no hesitation, or even look, or even difficulty. It seems to be animating the characters. Mm, yeah. And like I said, I think that's what they're going to go with with this series. I mean, we still have to see the rest of it. The only other bit we've got was something doing a figure eight, which I will admit, it's funny to see that in 3D. I know, like, I think Lost World did it as a running, they had to that in the game. And even the Sonic movie had it as a toy. So it is kind of weird to see that running 
style in full 3D for me. It's not bad, but it's just surreal to me. Yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah. I think we even in like Sonic Sonic Episode Two did kind of kind of a similar thing. Yeah. Well, yeah, Sonic Four Two. It, I mean, wait, well, it was a ball, really, but still. Yeah. Yeah, just something like that. But either way, it's like, yeah, I mean, already we've got literally under a few seconds and there's still a lot more left to talk about with this damn thing. Yeah, but any any and all information of Sonic is basically means we've got a 2,000 word essay of saying why it is or isn't bad. Yeah, I mean, again, as as ever, I will, I keep saying this, with every Sonic cartoon, I'm going to in this as open-minded as I can because every one of them has been a different beast anyway. So I'm going to go into this with, you know, Pretty much no expectations just to see what the hell this thing is going to be like at the end of the day. Yeah. And to all the naysayers out there, yeah, maybe we'll get a second season. Who knows? I mean, Netflix is kind of finicky on what shows get a second season. Yeah, there's been, put this in, put this in a bit of a time capsule. Again, there's been the whole thing of they laid off a bunch of projects, but again, a lot of them have been still coming out. So that's been going on. Who knows? Again, it's a 24 episode run. So. Presumably, they want to make this one whole story out from beginning to end. And if it does well, maybe there'll be more. If it doesn't, who knows? I can only hope on one thing, and it's better than a Cuphead show. <laughs> ooh, ooh, that's contentious. <laughs> hey, it sucked. Oh, boy. It oh. sucked. Cuphead show, that was terrible. Oh, I mean, like, he's funny. I, I, he's I, like, I, like the, I like the ambition. I like the trying to look at like an old-timey stuff. Mm-hmm. But the story, the characterization, so uh, some of the voices, no, it's just mm-hmm. no. And the overall arc of the devil, the devil owns your soul. That only gets brought up in like three episodes. Yeah, I mean, it's oh, again. That funny enough, this is part again. This clip here was part of the whole like Netflix animation run that they did. So, oh yeah, the, the next half of Cuphead is coming out soon as well. I mean, quick tangent here. Like, I saw the show and. I, it's one of those only things is like I want to like it, as you said. There's, like, oh, there's yeah. a lot of things that I like about it, but I'm not. I don't feel I'm not laughing with it as much as I want to. There's a few bits and bobs that I like. I like when they do, you know, they have model sequences and 2D animation together. That's always fun. There's one or two gags that I kind of fun, but I don't know if there's just something about it that isn't grabbing me too much. And I don't know. Again, it's a fault with the show that I can't really put my finger on. There's other just like I'm not enjoying this as much as I should. And I feel like a monster for saying that in some ways. Yeah, it's like I don't think the fact is that it's also it's technically a video game adaptation. Mm. It's just it's just Cuphead. Yeah, we're taking I mean, Cuphead was... and not really adapt the game. No, Cuphead I mean to it's... say uh, Castlevania. Yeah, I mean it is doing its own thing. I mean it's setting out to be its own different type of you know because again it's a different media from the game itself. It isn't trying to be the game one-to-one it's just taking elements and ideas and characters it's like well let's expand it or change them around and stuff which is fine if the end result is entertaining which is what these things should be yeah like okay like with castlevania it's essentially um the first two seasons was castlevania uh free hmm. it's extended a little bit i mean three and four as a different altogether story altogether it does not really follow in uh curse of darkness but still but you got enough leeway so you can do your own things with it anyway. That's part of the fun of doing these different types of adaptations. Yeah, yeah even like uh, Double, the Double May Cry anime, again, um, mm. that even though it's completely different compared to what the games are, it's still technically canon. <laughs> wow. I mean, that's the same. Yeah, the little yeah. girl and the uh, character Morrison, they appear in Double May Cry 5. Okay, then. All right, I'm going to say that's that's quite impressive. I mean, I have said we said this before is like because we're not entirely sure like the prime is meant to be still in canicity with the game series apparently that was something I think that was talked about before or that was something people were theorizing so I'm still curious how this is going to work and this to react with the concept that would be multiverse the zone hopping or universe hopping thing like Everyone's trying to do multiverse now. Everything's trying yeah, to do no, multiverse. That's the deal. I mean, it's like if they're gonna do it, just go crazy with it. Like I say, if you're gonna do an episode where Knuckles is a pirate captain, go. If you want to do an episode where Amy's a savage in a jungle environment, do it. Just absolutely my ideal scenario with this. I said I've got open mind, but I will say one thing I, I like them to do is like each episode, if it's gonna take place in a different dimension and universe, you have a different feel and tone depending on the characters and the world they're in. Again, if you're gonna do multi multiverse stuff play with it just go ape shit with it yeah just 
be a bit more comedic, a more comedic version of a story, the Sonic Storybook games. <laughs> well, I guess so. Um, actually, funny you mentioned that because I did see a tweet from uh, one of the showrunners asking about what sort of the tone of this or how, like, you know, how wacky or ridiculous is going to be. They did say it's going to be tonally, it's going to be more in tone with like Generator X, if anybody remembers that. Nope. Right. Well, basically, it was. Um, it's effectively it was done by the same team but did Ben 10 and this is like okay the people who view that show have grown up this is now like the slightly grown up show of Ben 10 you know it's still got a wacky stuff and adventure thing but it had deals with like slightly more serious issues but still in an entertaining way so I'm, I'm interested to see how they go with the show yeah um because I know there was a thing about like it's a Y7 which is I think like UK wise that's like a U on our end at least I think yeah, I mean, it's like it's a rating system, basically. It means like in our side, it's, you know, UPG 12, 15 or 18 sort of thing. Well, so hopefully in, well, we're still going on. We're still going on about just a three second clip and a bunch of concept art. Mm-hmm. And that's and that's about it. But yeah. on top of all that, we have a new voice actor as well. Completely new cast for this, which I know people are going to ask, what about Roger Craig Smith? He came back as Sonic. Yes. Yeah, he did and he didn't. Yeah, well, he has put out a little tweet regarding the fact that, yeah, I'm not involved with this this series. I'm involved, obviously, with the next game or whatever. But, yeah, he's already put that out there for folks. Yeah, so the Prime series, completely different. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's completely different cast. A few of them you might recognize as actual voice actors. Um, can't remember the guy's name now. Yeah, well, I've got a list here, so if you want me to go through them. So Sonic is played by a guy called Devin Mack. Um, who actually was the did, did voices and was the voice director for Dust and Lizzie and Tail. Yeah, um, he's done a few things. Um, he was in, uh, he's apparently Final Sims, one of the Marvel animated spin-off things. He was the main character of Wishfart uh, called Dez, who's a leprechaun who lives with a puffin named Puffin and a, a Chinese ghost. Um, he's also been in Transformers Bots Bots, which, funny enough, is developed by some of the former writers of Sonic Boom out there. Huh. So there's a nice little connection. Uh, we got Ashlyn Ball, who most, if you're a brony, you know who this is, uh, the voice of Applejack and Rainbow Dash. So it's it's, it's going to be interesting. I mean, there is some people considering whether she's going to be playing Tails, which I'm trying to think how she would be, considering what she was in MLP. Um, think more, like, I guess the boy, more boyish version of Rainbow Dash. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, she has played a lot of side characters in that show, so there's probably a one pony that's, like, going to be the version of Tails anyway, so who knows? We'll find that out soon. Um, another person is called Sharon K- uh, Chan Kate. This one's kind of funny. Um, first of all, she's the singing voice for Pinkie Pie. This is a weird thing. Like, the, the actresses can sing, but they have other people doing the songs for them in that show. Uh mm-hmm. But the other thing is, she's also voice of Silver Spoon and Smolder in the series. But weirdly enough, and this made me laugh, she's actually the waitress from the uh, the Roadhouse waitress from the first movie, of all things. Huh. Yeah, it is her. It's totally her, you know, the one who's trying to give Sonic squawk, and then, you know, is the one where Sonic gets his first chili dog in that scene. She's that character. Huh. No, no yeah, name she's... on the list as well. The other name on the list as well, I'm actually surprised seeing, is Brian Drummond. Mm, yeah. Who to, to all the Sonic fans would know is the voice of Knuckles in Sonic Underground. Yeah, so he was the first person to play Knuckles in animated form, basically for American TV. For me, he is the voice of Vegeta. <laughs> yes, he was also in Dragon Ball. Yeah, that was the thing. <laughs> yeah, he was the he was the Ocean Dub of Vegeta. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, he was also funny enough. He was in a. You remember um, there was a Pac-Man show a few years called Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures. Yeah. He was Clive in that series. <laughs> so uh, I will say this. I mean, I've watched the show and it's it's one of those like it's OK ish, but it's nothing amazing. I will say there is one bit from that series that made me laugh. There's a line I can't remember fully. I may put a clip in it, but there's a bit where he talks. Uh, Clyde talks about I feel the editor is the most undebated person in the media industry or something like that. You know, I love that gag. I love it. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> I love that just for that bit. Um, next up, we got e- Ian Han- Hallen, if I said that right. Again, another MLP person. He played um, Sunburst in the series. He was also Red in one of the Angry Birds spin-off shows. And apparently was also Thor and Ant-Man in a Lego Marvel's um, animated spin-off thing. 
Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank so, you. Yeah, I, I, we should mention here is that one thing you should know about all of these actors is in half of them have been in My Little Pony, but also they're all Canadian, seeing how the show is made in Canada, of all things. Yeah, uh, okay. the last two is Cassie Events, who is the singing voice of both Rarity and Princess Luna, but also uh, Moon Dancer and Octavia, basically the violin pony in that show, of all things, where they decide to give her a voice. When they give her a voice. Yeah, when they give her a voice, yeah. I mean, there was a long time where she didn't say a thing, and then they finally give her a voice in the 100th episode. Yeah. Up, the only thing I couldn't good. find any info about is a guy called Adam Nara, Nada, if I said that right. That's the only person I couldn't find any info on. Hmm. Well, we'll, we'll probably find out soon enough. And hmm. as ho- I'm just right now hoping to Christ right now that Ken Penn is in the sue for the name of use of Locke. <sighs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. You know, I will say this. I mean, it's we've had about half a month of Sonic 2 movie business, and it's like I was starting to wonder. I was like, I wonder when Prime is finally going to get a bit of attention. So this finally popped up, and now it's like, oh, please, God. If it is going to do multiverse stuff, it's like, oh, please, let's not have that as a problem. Oh, please, God, let's not have to go down that route. No. Oh, we'll look forward to this later this year. 